Monday the 5th of December 2022 was a catch-22 day for me. In other words, I was damned if I did, and I was damned if I didn't. My daughter was on duty call-out at Heathrow that day, as she works as cabin crew for BA, and offered me a lift to the airport. Great one would think, door-to-door -door travel free of charge. But there's always a but, isn't there? The but in my case was my flight was not until 21.35 hours that evening, and we had to leave at 5 in the morning in order that she may report in for duty on time. I decided to bite the bullet and go for it. So we departed from home at 5 in the morning, arriving at Heathrow Terminal 5, a journey that took us 2 hours and 15 minutes and the plan was she would get me a pass so I could use the BA staff canteen and we could enjoy a breakfast together. But this was not to be. I was waiting outside the BA office complex for my daughter to return to me with the canteen pass when she suddenly appeared with the news that she had been called out for a flight to Miami, effective immediately. You know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men? This called for a plan B. In the interest of safety, parents are advised not to carry children on baggage trolleys or allow them to play on the escalators. Using the underground, I travelled from Terminal 5 to Terminal 3 for my Thai Airways flight but on arrival at the check-in, I was informed that I could not check in for my flight until 17.30 hours, giving me a waiting time of 10 hours and 15 minutes. So I proceeded to the nearest watering hole to be fed and watered, while reading a Lee Child novel featuring his hero, the badass Jack Reacher. Checking in and going through security took one hour and 40 minutes and then I was free to enjoy the amenities of the departures lounge which I could have done with during my previous waiting time. But at last it was time to take the long walk to the departures gate that the sign underneath the departures information board informed me that it was a 15 minute walk. Apparently the reason for this is the Boeing 747 has a wingspan of 68.4 metres and the aircraft are parked wingtip to wingtip. So it does not take many aircraft before the walking distance mounts up. I was seated in the final departures area waiting to board the plane when the public address system announced that the flight had been delayed by 20 minutes. Wonderful too much. At last we are in the air and about halfway through the flight of just under 12 hours I walked to the after end for a beer break while the other passengers slept or watched the in-flight entertainment. After landing this was followed by the long walk through Bangkok Airport. Immigration and my luggage collection at carousel number five that took a further one hour and 28 minutes. So was it a good flight? I once heard that any flight you walk away from is a good flight.
Finally, the last leg of the journey, the taxi ride from the airport to the Taipan Hotel, arriving in my hotel room, making my journey door to door a total of 30 hours and 48 minutes. And now the start of another adventure.